Hey everyone, welcome back to Security Gladiators. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to install Exodus on Kodi. This is the latest and most up-to-date tutorial to get you started with your Kodi experience. And if you watched our first video on how to install Kodi on Windows 10, then you should already be ready to go. Uh, if not, just head over to our channel and watch the tutorial uh, on how to install Kodi on Windows 10, uh, and then follow it up with uh, this video. Make sure you watch the whole video so you can learn how to safely use Kodi uh, with Exodus. Uh, during this video you're going to learn the new way to install Exodus on Kodi as well as some tips and tricks to enhance your Kodi experience. Okay everyone, so the first thing you need to do is open up Kodi on your computer. Uh, once you've done that you should get a screen uh, hopefully exactly the same as this. Uh, and then we can go through adding uh, Exodus. Uh, first off, I should probably mention um, that Exodus used to be run from a service called TV Add-ons. Uh, however, that no longer works, and you'll probably notice on most of the other YouTube videos that they're still using TV Add-ons, uh, and I guarantee that uh, won't work uh, as they were sued by the studios and it got uh, shut down. Um, you can actually read all about it if uh, you head over to this site here. Um, however, um, that doesn't matter. We've actually found other providers. Um, but what we do recommend uh, because of this is that you use a VPN um, whenever you're using Kodi or a service like this. Um, basically, uh, by using a VPN, it ensures you're protected and hides your streaming. So basically, uh, or hopefully, you're not at risk of getting sued. And by using a VPN, it will hide you completely uh, when you're using Kodi. So if you make a mistake, if you know what I mean, and accidentally watch something that uh, is possibly pirated, uh, not that we uh, endorse that, then you will be uh, safe. To find the, the written version of this guide and the guides to make Kodi awesome, click on uh, Security Gladiators link below uh, to find the best VPNs to hide your Kodi use. Uh, we uh, choose to use IP Vanish. Um, so if you just head over to securitygladiators.com, you'll find all the information you need there. Um, once you've installed the VPN, it's it's as simple as just clicking connect or disconnect. You can see the our interface up there. It's very user friendly, uh, very uh, easy to use. Uh, let's get going with uh, installing Exodus on Kodi. All right, now that you've got Kodi open, the first thing you need to do is head up to the little uh, gear cog up here. You want to click on that. And then you want to head over to system settings. You'll want to go ahead and click on that one. And you want to go down to add-ons and you want to allow unknown sources. And you just want to hit yes on that. And then you want to go back, just hit backspace to go back. And then you want to go to file manager and then you want to add a source. You want to double click on that. Where it says none under add file source, you want to go ahead and click in there. And then you want to type this exactly the same way as I am. So it's HTTP colon forward slash forward slash cipher C-Y-P-H-E-R dash media dot com forward slash repo forward slash. Now the old one was TV add-ons but as I said earlier in the video this uh, no longer works um, and a lot of the old YouTube videos will actually still have that in there but uh, as I mentioned that they were sued so that's why we recommend uh, using a VPN. Um, so once you've added that hit OK and then you want to name it. Uh, you can name it anything you want but for the purpose of this let's just name it Cypher Locker CY P H E R whoops locker and then you want to hit OK again. And just hit OK once more. 
and if that's all connected you should have cipher locker up here on the right hand side once that's there you want to hit backspace and backspace again all the way to the home page and then you want to go down to sorry add-ons then you want to go to the little uh, unpackage box here you want to click on that then you want to go install from zip file you want to click on that and then you have cipher locker and then you see the zip file and then you want to hit OK and it should actually come up in the top right hand side once that's uh, added I'll just give it a few seconds and there you can see cipher locker is added once that's done you want to go to install from repository so click on that and there you have it cipher locker is in there you want to click on that then because it's a video add-on you want to click on video add-ons and then you want to find exodus once you found that you want to click on that and then you want to click install and give that a moment and it should install and you want to go backspace as you can see there exodus add-on has been installed backspace backspace all the way back to the home page and then under add-ons you should find exodus so once we click on exodus hopefully it should have installed right and uh, it'll open up and it's in here where you can search for all the latest TVs and movies that you want so let's just uh, click on TV shows uh, let's just go most popular and Game of Thrones is always a good one let's go season 7 Uh, episode 7 and click on episode 7 give it a second to load up and there you can see uh, all the sources available to be able to play uh, the TV show or the movie that you're watching so I'll just click on the first one once you have used this uh, a bit you'll be able to pick which one's best um, however right after this I'm going to show you how to uh, actually change your settings so it can just uh, pick a source and play automatically so you won't have to come in here at all um, so I've clicked on the first one I'll just give that a second to load up and just show you how it actually plays uh, the episode uh, don't forget you can go to securitygladiators.com um, if you forget any of this uh, and all our guides and everything uh, are available there uh, I'll also put the link at the bottom of the page uh, so you can follow that or uh, check in the comments and be sure to like it and subscribe to our channel okay so hopefully that's loaded up and you can see that there that's starting to play and there it is I'll just stop it there and what I'll do now is I'll go back and I'll actually show you how to play that automatically so you don't need to select the sources so again just go back click on Exodus click on the two little dots here to go back just in Exodus not for the whole of um, not for the whole of Cody uh, and then you want to go all the way back and then you've got tools at the bottom you want to click on that Give it a few seconds and then settings playback 
and here under default action you want to change that to autoplay and then you want to hit OK and then you want to go back and then we can show you that again TV shows you can go back to most popular Game of Thrones and we'll go to season 7 again and episode 7 shouldn't be too long and rather than picking uh, a source like we did last time where you had all the sources down on the right hand side you can actually see that it's selecting it automatically for us now and that'll pick the best source available And there it is. Um, just one more setting I want to show you before we go today. I want to hit escape because I want to go back in Cody, not just in Exodus. And then I just want to go up to settings. I want to head over to system settings. And then I want to go uh, Sorry, then I want to go to player settings. Then I want to go to player settings. And I want to do videos, play next video automatically. So what that will do is if you're watching a TV series, uh, it'll play it consecutively um, rather than having to come back out and select each episode individually. Uh, so that's it today from Security Gladiators. Make sure you follow our links down the bottom or go to securitygladiators.com to uh, find all our guides um, and recommendations for our VPNs, etc. Uh, thanks for watching.